Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to the Dara Education Project video tutorial series uh, for the Windows Phone. And uh, in this uh, session number two, we are going to learn how to uh, establish a connection through programming uh, in our Windows Phone. So let's start our program. And here is our program. And in the last video, we are just uh, connecting uh, the data connections, and now we are implementing it through the uh, our, uh, uh, you can say that uh, um, with the help of uh, programming so let's start and just create a, a button here and I am creating a button and uh, in the button properties I am just uh, give some text properties click to connect with the database for example and uh, we are making this here one more thing uh, if you want to change the background properties and the other things and understand then it was a back color it will change the back color of our uh, button and here you can see that a back color is changing and uh, foreground color is used to change the colors of the text colors uh, sorry the button text colors it will be if you want to change it uh, with the alphabetic then it is more easy for you here the four color I am always using uh, the properties from alphabet characters mm. and you can see that ok so here is our button and uh, we just uh, create this form uh, to establish a, a connection with our MySQL database so if you uh, name it uh, uh, the prop property of the object uh, was a form and uh, if you will click the point make this cell this styling ok so change the button connection button button ok now you will click on it and it will show you the uh, coding side of your form and here is the coding side and in this site you will write need to write the code here is the code first of all we need to add the uh, using class here of the MySQL because it is very necessary if you are using the MySQL then you need to add the MySQL dot data MySQL dot data data dot mysql client here you need to insert this line before you are going to run anything now uh, here uh, first of all we need a connection string a variable and uh, I'm using connect string and in this connect string you will place a value uh, the value you will get from the server explorer right and click on the connection localhost which we are already uh, done in our last program and then go to the properties here and when you click on it then it will provide a code here you need to copy all the code here I'm copying it server is equal to localhost and everything control C and place that connection string here now we don't need all these things you can now check it out it will be different for your computer a string and a server is equal to localhost semicolon user id is equal to root database is equal to college database and persistent uh, pers uh, per uh, persist security info is equal to true this connection string is most important if you are not able to connect it uh, using the server explorer then it's might possible that uh, you have uh, unable you are unable to connect it with the server now we need to establish a connection uh, with the mysql connection mysql connection and for this thing we will use mysql and then you can see a mysql connection that was mysql connection and we will create the variable name and that was con is equal to 
new MySQL connection and in this you will place the connection string connect strings just like that okay uh, so one more thing uh, you don't need to add connection string in double quotes if you will use it then it will be a just a simple text is here now next thing is my sql data adopter data adopter is performing uh, here and uh, i'm using uh, m adopter something like m adopter is equal to new my sql data adopter here In the next phase, we are going to uh, select the command. For this thing, I am using m adopter dot select command. And in this select command, uh, we are using to establish uh, what we want. Uh, for example, if we want to select all the values from our uh, our database, or select our database, insert database in the database, delete our table, so we need we need the query here. So here is the new uh, MySQL command and in this command I am using select static from college database. Okay, this will uh, this uh, will include uh, the command uh, to connect with our table and uh, for example I am connecting it from the student table and after that we will provide the connection here you can see the arguments that first is the command cmd text here and after that you need uh, to insert the connection here and co our connection is gone here okay. uh, if you will go to our mysql workbench and here is our college database and now we want to create a uh, uh, table here for example I am creating a create table create table student and here and, uh, and this we will first provide the name of the column name uh, that was a uh, s name and after that it will be the character variable character properties and uh, for example the next one is the uh, s address and var charge variable 50 okay, it will be 100 now run this query and okay. create table student and this was creating a new table for us and you can see that student table is here so uh, we need to insert student and here we will add student table Okay, our query will uh, okay for this time and now we need to perform and execute this query here and for this thing we need mysql command builder and mysql command builder and I am giving the name of cmd is equal to new mysql command builder and in this I will place the my adopter here now we are almost done now we need to open the connection and for this con dot open open is the co op method of the connection this will be the mysql connection class and we are creating the object of con here and after that we need a data set for the ds is equal to new data set and here we will show a message message box dot show and in this we will write a message that connection with the mysql database established established okay now we will try to run this program start there are all, uh, we will add one or two things here but first of all I want to uh, run this query for you
click to connect with the database okay you can see that the connection with the mysql database established but for a secure hand uh, whenever you need to use uh, these commands to establish a connection we need to uh, add a try catch block here uh, to establish the exception handling and for this thing if the connection was not open then we will use ca exception handling uh, exception due to any reason if our com uh, if our connection was not established then this command will run massive box dot show we will uh, discuss this exception handling in detail in the next lectures unable to connect with the database okay. and uh, now we will concate this with the ex ex here to establish it. so this is the final work for our connection establishing so thank you very much for watching this tutorial i hope that uh, you will enjoy this video tutorial and you will kindly subscribe our channel and uh, watch over the next video tutorials thank you very much for watching allah